yeah hello and welcome to this video yeah um the announced video on yeah the value of older chess books doesn't uh, materialize today i still have this problem with my neck i cannot oh, i can barely move it and i don't want to sit here for too long um so just a couple of blitz games i also hope that the technical side of thing things um that will work um I this is the second attempt to do this video. I had one a couple of minutes ago and um I had a technical problem. It it doesn't happen so often, but my my computer, it's a notebook. Um it sometimes just spontaneously goes into into hibernation mode. Yeah, like in the middle of a video recording, which is completely insane. And um, yeah, I don't really know what to do about it. I can, I, I tried uh, things, but I cannot really figure out how to stop it. And um, yeah, it's super annoying. So this is a pretty nice variation for white. Um, I think d4 is right. I can never quite remember these lines. I mean, it's, 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 it's well known for a long time that black shouldn't play like this, but I keep forgetting why exactly. I mean, I know h4, g4, and so on, but I'm always uncertain about the move orders. And the important point is that bishop takes, d takes, knight g4 fails to queen a4 check. Typical motif. Yeah, my method is h5, winning winning the bishop. There's no squares. h5, bishop e4, f3. And this move I don't understand. I mean, not that I had something great in mind, but why is that even a vague idea, queen a5? I don't, don't understand it at all. So f3. What is the trick? There is probably no trick, but always have to look. <laughs> One thing that needs to be mentioned, and I have had these kind of position in, in blitz games um, quite often, they are still a bit messy, yeah? White's king is open, so you always have to be a little bit a little bit cautious that you're not um, running into some kind of mating attack. Um, now I can take here and then he's got bishop g3 but I don't think this is a big deal. At the end of the day after I grab this I mean he will probably take with the knight I guess. If he takes with the king I take the bishop and I have queen a4 immediately so Queen a4, now we can take and play bishop c2. This is still good for white, but of course I'm taking this. And now I'm threatening queen a4, just to simplify. And yeah, this is just a check. I don't see anything bad happening to me. Now, yeah, here you have to consider uh, if, I, uh, if there's actually more material to be won. Or if I can just play queen a4. I think just queen a4 um, is good enough. I'm just going to trade queens and this should make sure that nothing bad happens to me. Yeah, rook g1. Maybe pawn takes e4. It's still kind of on, but I have the check here. And then take e4. Yeah. And this is um, basically resolving this little um, uncoordinated kingside position. I can take g7 here, right? Wrong about it. Yeah, just a piece, right? For absolutely nothing. 
yeah, so this is um, was a bit of an opening disaster. I'm going to give him the rematch. Need to get some points back. That game, when my computers went into hibernation, I lost. I was actually able to continue it because, I mean, it is hibernating. It can, it, it, will, it comes back after like a minute or so, but uh, I was so utterly confused that I couldn't really get this, uh, continue this. I really don't know what to do about this problem. It's it's extremely awful. It doesn't happen often, but it's um yeah, super super annoying. So with some weird move orders, uh I, I'm getting some sort of King's Indian. Not the best King's Indian with the bishop on f eight. Not the not an ideal way to play. Yeah, but anyway, it's it's going to be better for white, but um, it's still complicated. Now, how do we play here? Hmm. Yeah, he's got b4. He should play this now, I guess. Otherwise, knight c5 is a little bit of an improvement for me. I think he should go b4. Yeah, now I'm going to take and I wanted to go c5 now. Yeah, let's do it. Not very happy about all this, but uh, was a bit of an experiment here anyway. Pre move here, I guess. Yeah, I mean, this, this I can actually pre move. He takes the six. I expect him to take en passant now. No, this one. Rising. How do we activate in this position? Probably. Hmm, yeah. Um, okay, I wonder if I should go knight a uh, knight a two here. Actually, it's a little bit odd, but let's do it. Knight on c three is certainly more important than my knight on b four. Okay, um, I wonder if Queen A8 is a move. Yeah, probably. Now, yeah, now Rook A3, I guess, or maybe instead of Queen A8, I had Rook takes E2. Not the most intuitive move. So yeah, let's just drop back here. Okay. I don't mind this all that much. I think H6 next should be okay. Where is he going with all this? H6. Yeah. Even bishop g4 was an idea. It's not quite clear where the bishop is going now, yeah? Bishop h4, I have g5. I don't see why not. Bishop e3 blunders the queen due to bishop g4. And I also have this rook a3 move, this which is kind of kind of annoying. Mm, okay, now bishop g4, or I also have knight h7 in some cases to get rid of the bishop. I really want to get rid of the bishop. 
Now if I take here, I can also go here, right? This is probably a bit, bit, bit better. Bishop g4 or knight h7. I, I go knight h7. I really want to play bishop g5. If I'm, I can get rid of the bishop on e7, my position should be completely fine. So taking this, no problem. And now I don't have a back rank idea here, unfortunately. So let's go bishop g5. No, has to trade. Now, um, pawn takes can be an idea. I can also take e2. But okay. The half open h file can be can be handy. So this one got slightly a bit of a clock disadvantage. Now I'm threatening g6. Yeah, white has some threats, but can it can easily get to a situation where he has to move everything backwards. Now this is um, something like that. B six, rook a seven. That's my idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can take. I had a complete. I just. I was just. Ah, uh, this was just completely blind, and very much, very much uh, a shame because it was. It was. I really liked the game. And white was uh, honestly a little bit outplayed there. Yeah, I, I don't want to give up. I mean, okay, I'm a queen down here and it's, it's increment. But given how the game went, uh, I'm, I'm going to continue a little bit. Maybe he's making some more strange decisions. Really difficult to screw it up, even if he plays really badly. Now time is ticking down a little bit. Still fairly easy to win this. White. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I blundered a full queen. Yeah? If I don't do that, my position, I think, is pretty nice. I really liked it, um, how the game went. I, had a, I was just completely blind. I, I somehow saw <laughs> those pieces the other way around. Yeah. So I, I just have to take then here, or, or I can I can also move the rook, of course, um, on the second rank. But let's say if I just take and play knight f6, my position is pretty okay. Checking both here. I'm not sure if I get on the a file. This is the thing that is. Um, not quite clear to me. Yeah, this is just nice. I got a Skype message there. I don't know if I can mute this somehow. Anyway, so let's go for, for the next one. Um, where are we going with this? Here, a new game. 
Elvet 60. Um, yeah, I mean, I haven't looked at the Sicilian for a month. And then I'm not going to play it. Uh, I will I will play it. Yeah, C3. It's one of the lines where I don't quite get why people play that. In particular, this one. This is so so utterly unambitious. I mean, black uh, equalizes so easily. And in some lines, you can even argue that it is uh, that white has to fight for equality. Mm, okay. Just taking this. E5 is just weak. Knight? No. Yeah, e5 is just weak. White is. Um, this is one of those cases where white is fighting for equality. Okay, I can just grab e5. Uh, does he have any sort of compensation there? Yeah, he takes on d5 and then rook e1. So I'm just going to develop and see how he will try to keep e5 in the long run. It is going to be a liability no matter what. Queen a4 maybe? Yeah, of course. I mean, C three is a the other queen is a is a somewhat is a healthy opening. Yeah? It's not like it's terrible, but I just don't really see any danger. Black can equalize with the, so many lines. And um, wow, yeah, this is a way to keep the e five pawn, but it's also a way to weaken your position tremendously. H five, or is that is that a bit too much? Yeah, come on. Bishop c5 maybe. How do we how do we get closer to the king? If I take the bishop will take. Then bishop e4. It's it's pretty strong actually. It's a pretty good position. Just don't want to trade so much. Okay, let's do it. Falling behind on the clock a little bit. He does trade queens. Yeah, probably rook d1 wants to trade down the whole game. And yeah, this is not so precise. Yeah, yeah, it was a bit of a problem. Eh? He either had e5 very weak or he had to play this g4 stuff, which is not really what you want to do. So he's not challenging me. I'm going for a new opponent. If they go for a rematch, I will usually accept. But... Um, See, pointless material is a very high rating. Fairly new account? No. Like 600 games. So let's see what we can do in the Sveshnikov here. Taking a bit of time for these moves. Surprisingly, just the start of theory. Yeah, one of the absolute main lines here. G3 now is the usual continuation. This is a line, I think, where um, black has very reasonable chances to equalize. But of course, white is um, also quite comfortable. This g6, bishop g7 is played to actually allow knight e7 later. As long as 
the bishop is on f6, knight e7 runs into knight takes f6, g takes f6, and now I have removed the bishop from the influence of the knight. So normally white plays knight e3 in this position. One of the moves that come to mind, and then I go knight e7. Bishop h3 is also an idea. Not entirely sure what I'm doing then. He can also play h5. There's nothing wrong about this either. I don't really have to be worried all that much about the h file. Usually black is not getting mated. The bishop on g7 is covering all the dark squares, so I'm not getting mated there. I'm a bit surprised that he's taking so long. Okay, I think knight is seven is right. Knight c3 now looks normal. Then I take and then bishop b7. This is a position that was played in one of Magnus's games against Wesley. So I think in Starwanger this year, I'm not sure if it was Starwanger, one of those tournaments. There are so many top level tournaments. After knight c3, takes, takes. I think the capture was not played. Magnus in this kind of position, I think without the trade, played bishop e6 and after bishop h3 took on d5. Um, I have analyzed oops, bishop b7 for the fight like Magnus repertoire. As an alternative, I think, um, yeah, this is what I'm, what I preferred. I thought this is a bit more active. Okay, so what are you doing here? I can take here, right? Okay. And e4. Right. Is that too early? No, I don't think so. Again, I'm not getting mated. I just play rookie eight and he has just one single check, which is completely harmless. Okay, going for b4 here, or I can also play e3 here. Maybe I should go e3 actually. This is an opportunity that I should not miss getting his king here out, out in the open. And now what? Queen to b6 maybe? Yeah, why not? And rook e3 looks completely like the obvious move, but this is also not bad. Huh? With rook f5 also possible. Okay, and let's, let's double now. Okay. Um, queen to e3, invasion time. I don't really see how he coordinates this. King g2, I've got queen d2. Now I just wanted to go to f4, was my idea. The check is also pretty strong, actually. Bishop e2, I win the piece. And here I thought rook e2 or something should win. Rook e2, rook takes, rook takes. King g1, there is no win. That's a bit of a shame. Queen d2, he goes to g3. I just need to get in bishop e5 check. It would be so nice. Okay, I don't see how. And then, then let's just play a normal looking move. This is threatening queen d2. Um, queen d2.
Und Bishop, Bishop E5 first. Ja. I can't believe this. This is still not falling apart. I must be a real, a really. Uh, I must. <laughs> uh... Bishop G7, though. First, I thought I blundered this, but I didn't. I don't see a window. This is really, really frustrating. Queen H3, I don't, I still don't see a win. Really remarkable. There is no win. I don't see a win. This is crazy. Just trying to allow Bishop D4. I mean, position is still completely overwhelming, of course, but I just thought it should have been over for a long time already, but somehow it isn't. I cannot believe I couldn't find a mate there. It's really, really weird. He resigned. I don't know why. It kind of, I mean, it's kind of the result that the game should have somehow, but I couldn't, I don't know why he resigned. Maybe he had to leave or something. I can take g4. I'm just stupid here. I'm just totally stupid. Anyway, I was I was really really amazed that somehow this this was going on. Like queen queen g4 is just very bad because this is just great for black. I'm activating my bishop here and his bishop is bad. So I just I just couldn't find a win, which is extremely extremely uh, weird. I was just like getting everybody involved. F5 now given by the comp. Okay, I'm not playing this move. It's not a move yet that I can play in a blitz game. I thought I should just win by yeah, piling up, so to say. But yeah, I'm actually not. I played it quite well. Uh, not Not too bad. There wasn't a complete killer. It seems, and this is keeping everything. Yeah, I, I just keep my large advantage. Rook c8 was a bit better here, but bishop d4. Somewhere here there are wins. Yeah, bishop d4 is a lot better. Oh, queen f7. That would have been very cute. He missed this one, and then he will draw pretty easily. I have to play bishop d4. Okay. Yeah, the rook has no good square. Yeah, rook f1 obviously doesn't work. 
what are you playing now? If you move the rook somewhere here, you've got the rook coming in. Something like this. So here, here I could uh, I could and should have won. And after the trade, I, I'm I'm better, but it's not clear that I'm winning. Didn't even see that he had blundered the pawn. I could have taken it here. Was that was strange? Anyway, um, let's go for the next game. Definitely not in very good shape. Okay, get another Sicilian. A3. Yeah. A3 is great, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a playable move. It's not maybe as strange as it looks at first. Sometimes you can really get something going with B4. Yeah, I just want to troll him a little bit. And it's not so bad. I mean, H4 is a threat. White has to react in some way. I don't think he wants to allow H4. He wants to allow h4. It's odd. So it's going to take, I guess. Wow. Okay. So okay, the f file is half open, but strategically speaking, this is pretty dubious. Giving me the all these squares, you know, e5, d4. They're permanently now under my control. I mean, okay, h takes also wasn't particularly attractive, but I still would have probably preferred that. Okay. Knight h7. Uh... Uh, there is probably knight d5. Oh, what is he doing here? Well, a bishop doesn't have many squares. And there is sometimes bishop d4 as well. Okay, let's grab this one. I wonder if I should check him here on d4, king h1. Oh. Well, it's not, not clear to me if this is helping all that much. A move like bishop e6 is just nice. Uh, if I go bishop h6, what, what is he doing then, by the way? Knight c7, maybe. The queen doesn't have squares. This is the idea. Knight c7. I can go, can move the king, yeah? I was just basically thinking about, yeah, why I'm better strategically and didn't really think about concrete ideas. And this just seems to win the queen. Queen h4, there is a check on e3. And knight c7, I go king d8. Not queen takes, as then he can take the bishop on g4. Okay. Um, let's take it. And now I think the check is probably strong. And bishop d4. It's a tempo on the queen and it covers the rook. That should... Oh, didn't see this move coming. Bishop takes. And then he wants to go rook e1.
Yeah, whatever. And now, yeah, I probably have to move the rook. Yeah, my rook is hanging. Knight e4, maybe? No. Five. So, bishop e6. Blocking the e file. And my intention is to take on d5. And so, let's say queen g5, I take d5, and then queen e7. Or knight e7 is even stronger. Knight e7 and then castling. It's a tempo, and I really don't see anything here like rook e5 or so. This is just not leading to anything at the end. Yeah, I'm going to castle queenside next after he moves the bishop. Or oh, this one. Okay, so didn't go for a rematch. Okay. I, did, I didn't have the rating uh, range limited. This is a fairly good line, and you sometimes really get knight bd7. <laughs> you never, never know. Bit of an intermediate mate on f7. And at the end of the day, white has managed to at least prevent the bishop from c8 to freely develop, which is one of the key points of the caro. Surprised here. I can take c6 here. Or is bishop h2 somehow then an idea? Oh. Very weird. Um, this one? Am I losing a piece after bishop b5, bishop d7? You cannot be serious. What? Okay, he's not threatening to take this because bishop takes b5, so I can actually move this back. But bishop b5, bishop d7, I think I was losing the piece, that's crazy. And this is kind of, yeah, I thought bishop b7. Pawn takes or queen takes? Queen takes actually attractive. Yeah, the queen is pretty nice on e5. But bishop g5 next. Yeah, bishop g5 not clearly helping me actually, but okay. Knight d5, queen e4 maybe. Yeah, queen e4. He, and then he has to weaken himself even more then. Yeah, that move I didn't consider actually. I thought he had to go g6.
yeah, a very, very nice position now. The queen is fantastically placed on e5. And I can just play rook e1 and pile up. Okay. Yeah, but how how are we actually going to win the game? This is often an underestimated question uh, that you have to ask. Like, this is a nice position, but how exactly are we going to end the end the whole thing? This is, um, in fact, not so obvious. Rook f6, no. Why did he go back? Hmm. Yeah, so b3, c4 maybe. I really thought he should have stayed on g6. Why didn't he do that? That at least looks like some kind of activity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of have to trade. Not sure what's best now. Queen g3, f4 doesn't really help him. I'm really happy that I have the e4 square now. Now I can play rook e4, rook e1, and pile up. Knight d5, I always have c4. This is mostly weakening black, I think. Let's roll. I should at some point play this move to not get back rank mated. It just, um, it's not really urgent, but it will be uh, useful. And now I should ultimately try to open up the position and see if I can checkmate him here. With d5 coming, this should be possible. So d5, if he takes as rook e7, it should be pretty devastating. I don't see any sort of counterplay. The immediate threat, I believe, is rook takes e6. Rook takes, knight takes e6, rook takes e6, queen b1 check, king h2, and then I'm threatening all kinds of things. Queen g6 mate, taking on h6. Not really a defense, I think. Yeah, just rook e7. Where is the mate? Don't see a maid. No, can actually pre off queen h6 maid. Yeah, so that was a bit of a bit of an odd game. In particular, b5 was pretty shocking. Yeah, I mean, I just think like, mm, what's the point? Yeah, I just take, and then he had queen b6. That that was really. Remarkable. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, this is this is just just crazy. It seems that d five is possible, an idea that I did not see. The point being, okay, this is difficult to see. The point being that after knight takes rook d one, bishop c six, there's rook d five, because there are all kinds of weird pins going on. I didn't see that. I was happy that I spotted bishop d3. But now if he would have played castles, knight e5, queen d4, black is completely okay. 
which is really strange. <laughs> okay, now um, let's see. Um, like one or two more games, maybe. We are rated a bit of a rating floor. See, taking a bit. I really like to have the increment, like in general, but in particular, if I don't, if you don't feel that fresh, you don't want this crazy scrambles at the end. Nepsulini. Okay, let's go D four. Yeah, G three is my standard repertoire move and we now heading into a catalan take you know, here black has a wide choice c5 bishop d7 yeah knight c6 is not so great but not not terrible either bishop d7 is the main move but people also play c5 quite a bit Here b5 is the currently fashionable line. But this is the kind of line that you only play if you absolutely know it. It's just it's a pawn sacrifice. Okay, um I really should study this. It happens pretty really often in my games and I always wonder what what is I what the most precise move actually is because many things look good but not so easy to determine what's what's best I expect the capture okay bishop d7 is also a move bishop g5 though looks a bit okay Hmm. Right before, uh, it's surprising. Yeah, I don't know. The knight doesn't look great here. It's more of a liability, and my knight only five is extremely strong. Let's see how he decides to untangle. You know, here I can take or I can go bishop g5. This also. Okay, let's go here. This is. Uh, okay, can never be bad, let's say. And um, easy move to play. Rook c1. Now intending to take f6. I don't think he wants this position with g takes. Maybe this is not too bad actually now that I think of it. Yeah, it seems that he doesn't mind to take with the g pawn. Okay, if I take c5 here, queen takes, there's something that I can do there. No, it's not. Not obvious, at least. Okay, so let's take and give him that double pawn. Queen takes, there's rook c5. So pawn takes. It's more or less forced. And not bad, it's not really bad for him. Like, hmm, why is this why is this a consideration? So take here. Taking B4 is an incorrect queen sacrifice. Maybe rook c4. 
Would be a little bit cautious that I'm not running into some bishop f2 tactic. Conan proposes a take back. What? Was rook c8 was rook d8 a blunder? <laughs> I didn't see it. I usually don't give take backs unless it's a su it's a super obvious mouse slip. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't have anything. Absolutely, absolutely not. I'm preparing e3 with the smooth. Cover the d3 square. e3 and knight d4. I don't think he's got any particular problem here at all. He can go. Okay, this is a very. Um, a conservative way of doing it, but not bad. Just keeps everything nicely covered. Maybe I can swing the rook over to g4. Okay. Not happening. <laughs> not happening. Um... Bishop e2. My queen is not really great. I would really like to get the queen over. Knight d3, I don't mind. I can take rook c3. I like to have the knight here against the bishop. This is not actually all that dangerous. Before, I just want to have some idea going here. Rook f4, my point. Yeah. Yes, this is ninety five. I'm not sure that I'm actually getting something here. Yeah, I can take and then go rook h one. Queen g five, rook g four. Maybe rook d2. Wow, okay. So if I take, queen takes. Yeah, let's do it. Queen takes, I don't really have anything great here, funny enough. Don't see anything bad happening to my king. <laughs> uh, queen h5, though. Twelve seconds, so I'm not losing on time. Got a bit of an increment boost. So let's go here. And uh, f4 is not great. Oh.
So how can we win? Probably still with some f4 business. f4, king f3, and then go from there. Let's still go back. Now maybe f5. Not sure if this is right. Rook g8 mate was the idea. Eight seconds. Yeah, it's not so difficult technically. Complicated game. Eh? I mean, I wonder if somewhere here I maybe had something better. It always looked like a little something, but probably, okay, knight d2 seems to be stronger, or knight g4. Knight g4 is something I could have seen. It's not ex exactly difficult. Giving him the double pawn, because this is really not not much. He requested a take back here. I don't know. Maybe it was a misclick. I don't know. It, it wasn't a blunder in some way. And here, I think um, it's it's just as um, the engine displays. It's, it's equal here. I tried this g4 business. Okay, here e5. Not such an easy move to make. Idea is to play e4 for oh, black. Yeah, I don't really have a good reply to that. Often this move would be uh, too loose because of the f5 pawn being so weak, like something like this, but he is just too quick here. This is just not working. Too much hanging. Yeah, I was strong. Yeah, and here this is um, again it's probably about equal it's 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 possible that somewhere here there were po there, there was something okay now we had rook d2 okay we have to wait queen c2 we were both in quite some some time pressure here queen g on the g file was strong for queen g2 Queen g6. Yeah, that was probably very shaky around here. Okay, so I think one more game and then I really have to. Oh, this. To do some. Something for my neck again. B BP55. Um. Yeah, I had a game against this player some days ago, which I lost. Don't quite remember what the game was. Really devastating. <laughs> I played a Bogo Indian. I haven't done that for quite a bit. This is not going to be a brilliant or black, but to have uh, this typical Boguinian pawn structure. I played this kind of structure for a while. Angling for knight c5. Playing very quickly. 
Tja. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking for a little bit because I have a tactical possibility here with knight takes e4. Yeah, this, it looks okay, right? Bishop d3, I go e4. And the resulting position should be pretty okay for me, at least. Now knight d here I can just take. Repair bishop f5. I mean, repair is wrong. If he castles, I go bishop f5 is what I'm trying to say. This looks hard to believe, really. Bishop f5. Threatening e3. Looks very scary. Maybe that wasn't even the best move. Yeah, I really hope to level the score <laughs> against BP55 here, yeah, otherwise, okay, he just resigns. <laughs> I mean, I'm not quite sure what's best. Queen H4, I mean, it looks devastating. Many moves, knight D3 as well. Okay, there was a really, uh, sh uh, really uh, short game, so one more, and then I'm going to call it a day. The results are actually quite okay. I don't really feel very fresh, but today we saw a game here, Wesley So against Hikaru Nakamura in that Tata Steel India event. Hikaru took on d4, but it seemed that Wesley did not, does not own my keep it simple d4 course. He didn't really play it well afterwards. And got into some trouble. That looks very accommodating. Now, um, am I just going to go for the pawn and with what move? Probably just knight e5. It's not so clear how he's getting this back um, just covers it. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Very strange. Something, something. Probably did something wrong here. That doesn't look that good. Hmm. Don't, don't, I don't know. I don't see anything good after c6. He takes with the knight. Should be 395. Maybe I have to play this, yeah? Then bishop d4. Hmm. Hmm. Very odd. I didn't think of this move at all. Okay. 
It's not bad. What? What on earth? <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy. It's just like dashing this out all all immediately. Okay, both knights are hanging, and my rook is hanging. Okay, so rook b1 maybe. Difficult move, yeah. Rook takes e5. I have to think about this first. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really have any substantial counterplay here, unfortunately. Let's cover this. Maybe I'm still getting. Maybe I'm getting C2 somehow. Mm, tja. Doesn't look like it. Eh? E5, a strong move. I should E4. No, then rook h2. Okay. Yeah, there are some games where you feel, hmm, yeah, whatever you do there, it's odd. So he plays this really weird, weird opening line where he undevelops the knight. And then uh, like here, rook c8 is played. And now um, he, he plays knight g4, knight takes and takes b2, which is super obvious, of course. And yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I I have to improve, of course, somewhere. Probably knight e5 is wrong. Rook d1 seems to be more precise. Yeah. You can draw your own conclusions. I still hope you enjoyed the session. I hope I can do this book um, themed video tomorrow i think i can it's getting better by the day um and um then i feel more comfortable for a longer time um here at the desk i'm going to do the video thanks a lot for watching guys bye bye